Hello everyone, my name is Lorenzo and I'm currently teaching to DVFX composing to the first year at Escape Studios. So today we're going to go through a very quick, quick tutorial about full foliage in Nuke. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to spawn some grass leaves on the footage using the particle emitter node. This is a render that I've previously done. Uh, for this demo. Uh, by the way, all the information that I've gathered in order to create this little uh, tutorial uh, were taken from the Foundry uh, YouTube channel. So please guys go there and have a look. Um, let's uh, check if we have all the assets that we need in order to create uh, something in the uh, 3D space in Nuke. So obviously we need a sub camera and then a um, point cloud generator that we can use in order to snap a card on the floor and then we need a uh, the original backplate of course an alpha channel in case we uh, we have one and grass leaves uh, so these grass leaves are basically png and jpegs that i have previously downloaded from internet now the first step is to create a rotor shape uh, that will be basically the area on which your grass leaves will be spawned. I'm using the last frame of this footage because it's the uh, frame that is showing more uh, in a, of this uh, right hand side area here. Um, and then we need to create a brand new channel. Uh, so we have to go on the output tab, click on new and just, I don't know, create a new channel, you can name it grass06 uh, and then copy and paste this channel into the channel tab and click OK. Uh, second thing, we need to uh, project uh, this rotor shape uh, on the card that we snapped on the ground previously and obviously this projection will be uh, uh, frozen at the last frame. Uh, the scanner render needs to be set on UV, so projection mode, uh, please set this projection mode to UV and then copy and paste this card and uh, put it just right after the scanner render because this is the card that we're going to use as emitter uh, when we'll be uh, setting up our particle emitter nodes. There you go, the emit input is in fact connected to the card that we're using as a meter and then all these particles uh, input you can get as many particle uh, uh, input as you want are connected to our grass leaves okay let's have a look at the uh, settings of this particular meter so first thing first uh, we change the emit from uh, tab uh, from faces sorry from points to faces and then the emission rates well this is you know really depend this really depends from uh, the number of subdivisions that uh, your geometry has uh, from the number of grass leaves that you want to spawn uh, you know the value that i found reasonable for me is 250 in this case same thing for the threshold you guys can play around with these values a little bit uh, but you really really need to uh, set the rate channel tab to the uh, channel that you have uh, just created in here okay so I have created uh, a channel called grass6 but in fact I'm using a uh, channel that I have created previously now we need to kill the velocity uh, by default the velocity of the uh, particular meter node is set to one so we need to kill it we don't we need to set this to zero size again play around with these values uh, but remember that you can always uh, tweak the uh, size using a transform node uh, for each element that you want to uh, uh, use for your particle okay and then the last thing advance tab set it to constant now uh, remember to freeze your particle emitter node to the last frame. Again, is the uh, is our reference frame, and then you can use an edit, an edit geo uh, in order to uh, tweak uh, the uh, height of your uh, particles a little bit uh, in case they're not snapping perfectly uh, with the ground. And then all we need to do is to render out our uh, 3D particles as 2D elements, maybe some grading. Uh, after that and then match everything uh, over the original backplate and that's it that's what we uh, will achieve in this case obviously you guys can add some more uh, elements uh, to uh, this uh, foliage i've added some clover uh, i have done some uh, color grading as well 
uh, and this is the final result. Uh, I hope you enjoy this little demo and thank you.